And when I was doing the hydrogeology part, I'm doing the physical hydrogeology part. Yes. And nowadays, I'm starting to do the hydrochemistry part mm -hmm. because I'm start to uh, test or to uh, evaluate the water quality or the specific elements in the in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, there's two 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 work or two uh, problems I'm doing now. The first one is uh, I'm doing what, what they call that the uh, radionuclide absorption problem or radionuclide migration problem. In in English? Well in Chinese. Uh, <laughs> in Chinese. <laughs> Anyway, we know that nowadays we also we always say that uh, is uh, we want to be a nuclear-free homeland, right? Yeah, yeah. that's a policy uh, But yeah, very giant. Yes, but think about that. We already have four nuclear power plants. Even though the fourth one is not in operation, but the, the first three one is still on, in operation. Mm -hmm. However, in the next decade, in about 10 years, all these three nuclear power plants will be, uh, what we call that, decommissioned. Decommissioned, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah, to be, okay. And think about that. How about those nuclear waste to remain mm -hmm. in Taiwan? Yes. Okay, so we have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, the, in the international-wise technology to do this, uh, Nuclear waste treatment is uh, what we call deep geology deposition or reposition, what do you call it? That means that you will just bury all this nuclear waste or what we call a radioactive uh, waste. The nuclear waste is so scary, right? So radioactive waste down below the ground surface, about 350 meters below the ground surface, yeah. and also to try to find a specific uh, geology type. Nowadays in the Europe, they are doing this one in the Greenland, mm -hmm. Wakang Yen. Okay? Yes. In Taiwan, actually, we don't have Wakang Yen, but we have one kind. One kind means that that's uh, not really originate from the magma. It actually from the metamorphism and becoming the grand, what we call granitic diorite. That's mm -hmm. also considered as granite. But we have a lot of slate in Taiwan. Slate has a lot of uh, clay minerals. Mm -hmm. So what my labs or my research group now is doing that we are trying to find the best or maybe the, the, the best uh, clay minerals they have uh, very good absorption, yes. absorbility, what do you yes. call that? And then to to do the kind of uh, experiment, try to define each different type of clay minerals and what kind of uh, absorbility they mm -hmm. have. That's one type. And then for this, uh, I, I just mentioned that the deep uh, geology uh, repository site is uh, there's a uh, one engineering technology, what they call it, sir. Multipole barrier technology. Mm -hmm. Multipole barrier technology means that we know that the radioactive waste, they have two kinds. One is low level. Low level is just like a x ray room from the hospital or those uh, uh, tools or equipment or clothing from the nuclear power plant. It's mm -hmm. low level uh, radioactive waste. Yes. And there's one high level radioactive waste is that the spent fuel from the reactors. Okay? And Either way, anyway, but the, the, the high the high level uh, radioactive waste is what we are dealing with now. So when actually when this uh, the fuel the nuclear fuel yeah. when they reactive in the reactor for certain times their efficiency start to decrease. Mm -hmm. Maybe they decrease up to about fifty percent. Yeah. Then they consider as a waste now. Yeah. They want to try to put in a new one to get an efficiency of the power generation. Yes. Okay. So in this way, now you have to deal with those uh, spin field of what we call. Yes. And this spin field has to contain in a container. And then container move to the place where you have barriers. Yeah, you, you have barrier. barriers. Then the barrier you have to dig into the underground for about 350 meters at yes. least. 
and then have some certain uh, holes to hold these can canisters yes. in there. Yes. So the first barrier is the canister. Mm -hmm. And the second barrier is where you put the, help, the canister in, you yes. have to fill up the hole. Yes. So that's the second barrier. And the third barrier is the host rod, the yeah. grid net. So you are, you are testing this, this uh, sort of, and in Taiwan, are we, are, you, are we leading in this? But I understand no, that no, we do this no. in Europe and the United States. No, yes, well. yeah. And Taiwan is actually one of the four countries has, to, has using the nuclear power, but without the, because yeah, it's right. just a country. So we just doing the research part, okay? Mm -hmm. And so the multi barrier is the concept is like this. So yes. the the uh, filling yes. for this hose materials, yes. uh, the criminals, and then the hose rack and mm -hmm. granite. That goes so out. we were to fill out when the if the pennies cannot hold because Taiwan is so many so many earthquakes so maybe break somewhere or the pennies will rust it after times. Yes. So the the new the, the radioactive nuclides will migrate out. Mm -hmm. So when it migrate out, you uh -huh. the because that the first barrier was failed, and the second barrier barrier has to be absorbed. It has to be good. So yes. they are re, kind of retard them to yeah. migrate out. I see. Even though they are migrate out into the host rock. Yes. And then the host rock is granite or the slates because they full of the granules, so they still have an absorption mm -hmm. possibility to these kind of right. So then that means that the the, the prices or the, the repository side can be sustained for maybe 10, 10, 10 thousand years. That's good. And then after that, when this uh, nuclear, uh, the radioactive nuclide come up to the surface, yes. you won't have so how do you say that? Not really harmless for the human okay. no, or for the nature. Yeah. That's that's one way I'm doing your research. Not to talk too much for you. Right? But actually, students, you, you I hope that you realize that uh, I grew up listening to these long scientific lectures in English uh, and sometimes in Chinese. And so if you if you feel that this is something that interests you. You have a career in science, <laughs> maybe. How, I wanted to ask this though. No, no, just one minute. I have an answer the second. You have an answer in the second part, yes. Yeah. What did, what did yeah, I ask? Before I answer the second part, because I told you that I have two 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 work yes, now. Yes, yeah. okay. But before I start the second the yes. second one, I want to say that one thing I have to clarify. We may use English conversation in at home. Some, sometimes, yes. Yeah, but that's the only time is when we start to have quarrel. Quarrel in English. In other words, in other words, anyway. <laughs> we are really normal. We start to like this, then we use English. We are normal father and son. Let's put it that way. And, yeah, okay. No, actually. All right, all right. Okay, we always start to answer the second one. Actually, yes, the right. second one is also related to the water and also the geology. So yes. it's not far away. I put it this way, that's the, I'm using the geochemistry way, a method, mm -hmm. try to identify the origin of uh, agricultural products. Yes, okay. agricultural products. Agricultural products. What we call that the permanence authentication technology. Mm -hmm. okay. And yes. actually we're using the isotope chemistry of, in this part. Mm -hmm. We are using the isotope of uh, Oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and carbon. When we are talking about the isotope, people will start to feel afraid of the it's maybe radioactive, right? But what we are using is stable isotope, mm -hmm. so it's not radioactive part. Should we use the Chinese? Wen Ding Tong Wei Su. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, maybe now you were curious you know, how you're going to do that, right? One thing uh, I just make up. Uh, very quick examples. When we started to do this study, the first one is milk. Mm -hmm. And why it's so important with milk? Because uh, in Taiwan we have uh, dairy farms. We have almost five, 600 dairy farms in Taiwan. And we have fat milk too. No, no, yeah, yeah. No, not fat milk. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Well, okay, we, let's put it away. When you are going to the supermarket, you buy milk, okay? Mm -hmm. And the milk, maybe they were saying that they are domestic products. Yes. But most of the milk in the, in the supermarket is imported, okay? Yes. You can imagine that the, the imported milk, you now they can keep for about 50 days. Mm -hmm. And in, if the daily, uh, the daily products from time, domestic, it may be keep only for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And people will like to say that for 50 days, it's not like uh, the French milk. No. It's like what we call that preserve. Preserved. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So people like to have uh, fresh milk. Yes. And some of the, what we call that, the, they sell in the bubble teas, they will use the milk as domestic meals, mm -hmm. but they're not actually real domestic milk. They may be fresh milk, but that's important. So, like, if you are drinking the milk, is domestic or only, maybe only same, but for the daily farmers, they are different because we have a higher cost to produce the milk. Not like the Australian or New Zealand, they are kind of, their daily farm is huge, mm -hmm. so their cost is lower. So yes. it's not a fake milk, actually they are calling that recovery, or not refined, recovery milk. Mm -hmm. Or reproduce, maybe not, 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 not the word reproduce. I think how they put that, they, they, they import the milk powder, yes, and then bring it to the water. So concentrate. Yeah, yeah. So no, not concentrate, not re, re, recovered. I think recovered, 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 what they call that, cool. Yeah, that is also, we, we, we move. Anyway, yeah. what I'm going to do this one, they say this one because that the, the 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 milk imported from New Zealand or Australia is so cheap. Yes. It's becoming cheaper and cheaper. Yes. And besides that, the, they have some kind of treaties, like uh, we call the trade treaties, trade, trade contracts, something like that. Yes. Then in in the in the next five years, maybe all the imported is uh, free cost. No tax, mm -hmm. okay, no import tax. And then in that case, then our domestic dairy farmers has no captains, is that? Yeah, right? because cheaper. So all, all, all yeah. these kind of work is this way. So this one thing, the other thing is that they, they put on the instruction for the milk. Yes. They probably say that this is domestic milk or something like that, right? Yes. Okay. So in this case, then it means that the, your milk is really from domestic or not from domestic. We can identify. Yes, using using, using, uh, using uh, stabilizer 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 yes. To to tell so the I, yeah. yeah. Now I will give you some points. So at the beginning, we buy from the market for eighty eight, eight different cartons of milk. Three is from Taiwan, and the other one from about five other countries. Mm -hmm. And the first uh, uh, result we got is that we can identify Taiwan milk by using the carbon and nitrate uh, stabilizer top yes. from the New Zealand and Australia. So easy, okay? Because New Zealand and Australia, their their way in uh, dairy farm is just three feet from the, yes. in the field, so they have grass feet. Okay. Grass but in Taiwan, we use in the that kind of manufacturing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And our manufacturer to uh, the feed uh, origin is usually imported from the United States. Yes. So we can't identify the Taiwan milk and the United States. Mm -hmm. the United States the milk or yes. the milk. Because if same same feed. Mm -hmm. Same feed. And then other than that we try to use the hydrogen and oxygen as top. In this case, you know that the dairy farmer in Taiwan won't import the water from the United States. Yes. So it's easy to identify this United the States from hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. So that's the way that the, the things I'm doing these days. And that's, and that's a daily conversation with my father. <laughs> this no, is no, 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 that's room. Today, that is, that, that, today is a little different, but this is a normal conversation between us. Actually, students, uh, I, we will come back and we will talk a little bit more about English because you have yeah, to work yeah. with 
your uh, Australian, New Zealand professors and yes. these projects, mm -hmm. and you also need to uh, you need to work with uh, English research a lot, mm -hmm. literature a lot. So we will talk about uh, what we can do uh, when we come back uh, to improve our English skills in science. Thank you all very much. We'll be right back. <laughs>